I want to talk to y'all about a serious matter, y'all, because it's going to get worse and worse when new generation consoles come out. Um, about, you know, game video games in general, whether it's fighting games, shooters, RPGs, uh, stealth, third-person shooters, I don't care, whatever, sports, whatever. And, you know, it, it's getting... I I have a conclusion that, you know, that video games, they're not the same anymore. It's like, it's like when you play video games, it's like forgettable, you know, because when you play a certain game, I mean, there's, I guess, a handful of games and a foot that you can remote, remotely enjoy and play those games again, but, you know, most of, most of these games that come out, you're not going to play it again. I mean, you're probably going to do no multiplayer every now and then for those that have, you know, great shooters. But it just, from developers these days, of the people that makes these video games, I don't feel the passion of what they're making anymore. Their passion of of these games that they're making is just money, 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 money. That's all there is to to these new to these generation now of gaming is money, 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 money. I just don't feel. I mean, it was money back then when you know Atari and Nintendo and Sega Genesis and all that. You know, was that you know it was money involved then, but they had they they want to show you a message. In their video games, they want to show you their passion, uh, saying, "Hey, I worked hard on this game," and that's why I got from these old, old school games over the years. But now I don't get that anymore. I really don't. It's just, yo, DLC. I'm and I'm hearing Mass Effect Three is gonna have a a day one DLC. Are you serious? Like a day one DLC for maps and all that crap. Yo, I thought about getting Mass Effect 3. You know, I, I might get it later on, along with uh, Naruto Shippuden. I might get those two at the same time next month. But, um, like, in the end of next month. But, um, it's just it's just crazy now. I mean, the PS4 and the Xbox 720 and, you know, I bet you it's going to be $80 worth of games. Plus DLC, which is going to be more money. I mean... I'd be surprised if it's still sixty dollars worth the game. I'd be really surprised, but I doubt it. But these developers need to prove these gamers wrong because they're getting money off of us. If it wasn't for us, they wouldn't be making all these freaking games and having money to do so. So you gotta look at that too. I mean, we're the gamers. We buy your stuff. You know, and, and you you put it already on the disc, but we have to pay for a DLC. Why we can't just unlock them like the old days? Like it's it's getting really it's I'm kind of getting annoyed by it because I'm kind of like you know losing my drive for video games. I mean, I play them, but you know, it's just like. All this other stuff that's coming along with it, like DLC, for example, like my last video I was mentioning about, you know, fighting games and whatnot, it's just that it dried out for me, you know. It, it just, these developers, these gaming producers, I don't feel their passion of it anymore. I don't feel it. I don't feel it, you know. When you played Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo, you felt that passion. When you played Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you felt that pa passion. Streets of Rage, uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Mega Man, you felt that passion. Even though it was, you know, they was getting money off of it, even though it was about the money, then they they want to let you know, hey, we're going to continue to make these games because of the fans. But games are coming out every freaking year, like Call of Duty they just want money, 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 money. They don't care. They don't want to try to make it better. Sometimes they make it worse. Um, it's all about the money. And Call of Duty has so much DLC this year. And a lot. And two Call of Duty games coming out this year. Black Ops 2 and the, and the Vita thing. Which is ridiculous. This ain't Madden. Okay. Oh uh, my gosh. 
but yeah, that that's how I feel about the gaming industry and the video game industry is just just money, 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 money. They want to be Donald Trump so freaking bad. It's not even funny. And I don't even want to be like Donald Trump. Fuck him. But yeah, just. I had to take a deep breath because I was about to get on piss on mode. Uh, gosh. It's just not the same anymore to me. I, I just, I think it's going to get worse. I read it there. But, I'm going to keep playing games that I'm interested in and sell it later on when I get tired of it. Because that's what it is these days. I mean, I still have my Sega Dreamcast. I'm not getting rid of that. If you sold your Sega Dreamcast, you are a fool. I'm telling you, man. Like, dude, why would you sell your Sega Dreamcast knowing that's going to be rare to find in the long run? And it could be worth a lot of money, too, but I'm keeping my Sega Dreamcast, you know. But that's all I have to say about that. But this is just stupid.